Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kylie. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching some more League of Legends cinematics. We were blown away by Warriors last video. Crazy. Yep, but people say that that's not That's not the even best the best. Yet. They say it's not even the best. Mm -hmm. They're saying the the call, I yep. think. We'll dedicate a full video to the call. So today, today we're gonna watch a couple of sad cinematics, apparently. Yeah. Annie Origins, which yeah. is a pretty long one, I'm pretty sure. And The Curse of the Sad Mummy. So... It does sound sad. Yeah. We've got those two to watch today. I think they're okay. pretty sad. Maybe get the tissues ready. Yeah, they're always close by. Yeah, they're always you know close me. by, yeah. For anyone interested in what videos we're looking to do, we've got so many planned. We'll give you a quick rundown of the videos that we're currently planning. We can always add to this list as well. If you want to skip over this, we'll leave the timestamps as well. So we've got in the Tales of Runeterra video that we did not long ago, we missed Sharima. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got five videos that we're gonna watch. That's part of that that whole story. Oh, five videos. Yeah. Sharima. Yeah. Okay. Then we've got the Ruination playlist, which is I think sort of like the end game event. Uh, that's got a whole heap of videos. One of our Patreon members sent them through. We'll watch all of those as well. Then we've got Pentakill and True Damage. Mm -hmm. Music groups. Yes. Yeah. Some more music videos, and then some of the other notable ones that people have told us about the Spirit Blossom cinematics. Mm -hmm. so We've got Kin of the Stained Blade, I think it's called, and then The Path and Ionia Myth. We liked Ionia, yep. didn't we? Yeah, we did. We've got A Twist of Fate, Call of Power, Legends of Runeterra, heaps of stuff. We've got heaps of cinematics planned, and then obviously The Call and Awaken. Yep. But yeah, today we've got Annie Origins and The Curse of the Sad Mummy. I think one of them's a music video as well. Okay. They're meant to be sad. They're meant to be really good, very well written. They're a little bit longer as well. Okay. I think any origins is is a little bit longer. So it's like more of a short story. Yeah. Than just yeah. A it's not like preview. a promotional trailer or. Okay. I think it's got it's more lore heavy. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Should we get into it? Let's get into it. We'd just like to say a massive thank you to all of our Patreon members. All of your love and support really means the world to us. So thank you so so much. Some of the perks include 24 hour early access. We have blooper reels. We do wrap up videos for all the shows that we finish watching where we go through favorite characters, favorite scenes, favorite episodes. We have plenty of discussions on there. We also do some polls as well. So you guys can help us out with what we're gonna watch next. So yeah, if that's something you'd be interested in, we'd love to have you over there. Is this Annie? Oh, what? Look at the animation style. Yeah. <laughs> Why, Annie? Oh, did she create the fire? the animation style. Mm. It's like an oil painting, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's that's kind of dark. Mr. Tibbers. No, he's mine. Mr. Tibbers able. Tibbers is stupid. No, he's not. Give him back. It's about to happen. Oh no. Yeah, she can. She can harness fire. <laughs> oh, sorry, I shouldn't laugh. you do? She took Tibbers. What is wrong with you? Aww. It was an accident. Daisy started it. Well, I bet you know. I'm sure she didn't mean to. But we planned to 
together before you know. I promise, Firefly. Firefly. I can't get over the animation here. I know, it's really beautiful. R right, just do a whole different... They do different animations. They're like, look what we can do. Yeah, they don't just Everything. do one style. <laughs> yeah. It's fantastic. Daisy, you're gonna fall. Oh, not Mr. Tibbers again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Probably killed her dad. Oh, Mr. Tibbers is so evil. Does it hurt her, the fire? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she can harness the fire. Does it like burn her or anything? Or is she immune to it? Mr. Tibbers in there. Shut up. Oh, my gosh. You took everything. Yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh. So and he's strong. And he's powerful. What, is it turning into an actual bear? Giant Mr. Tippers? Gosh. It's a lot for one person to go through in one day. One heck of an introduction to that character. Wow. What a tragic story. Very tragic. I, I got some powder vibes there. I know it's easy for us to always tie it in with Arcane somehow. Very like similar tragic stories. Yeah. I think. Yeah, it is. I think it's a little bit unfair for Annie to have gotten all the blame there. Yeah, she tried to save her sister. Yeah. Doesn't... The mum didn't. She already was had a preconceived idea of what happened yeah the mum didn't, didn't want to believe that annie was good but she's she's like really strong really powerful yeah i wonder what was going on at the end there when the mr tipper's soul i don't know what happened there he turned into a massive bear or something like a real bear like a fire bear 
Are we the only ones who got powder vibes from that? We understand not everything is related to Arcane, but maybe maybe Riot took some strengths from other stories and Yeah. And maybe it is just because Riot created both that they're similar and not because the two are actually similar, if you get my meaning. Yeah. <laughs> it's made by the same people. Yeah, but I, I did I did feel like there's similar tragedy in both powders. And Annie's stories just mm, now. Yep. Troubled childhood. Lost her family when she was just a girl. You got a lot of the blame. Yep. Abandonment. Mm. Mm. That was sad. Very sad. But yeah, the animation style was like you said, it was more like a like a painting sort of thing. Yeah. Had that painting vibe to it. Really cool. And I loved the way how it was not like all perfectly flowing. It was like... Yeah, it kind of looked like it was like at a slower frame rate or something. Yes. Added a lot to that. I loved that. It was really like enchanting. Yeah. Yeah, it added to the tragedy of the story. Yes. The animation style. Yes. Definitely. So the next one that we've got to watch is The Curse of the Sad Mummy. I think this is also sad, but it's a music video. Okay. Is Amumu the character? Amumu music video. I don't know. Don't know. Okay, so it's like a, a a tomb mummy. I wasn't sure if it was like a mother or like a, a tomb mummy. No. Sad music. Oh, this is so different to anything we've seen yet. The music's so good. How good a riot? Seriously. Oh my it's goodness. So creative. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> so what's a Mumu looking for? Yeah, good question. Ah, they're like jellyfish. Jellyfish flowers. <laughs> Is the curse that he's alive? Maybe. And that he can't find any rest? Yeah. And maybe, like, he's woken up and he doesn't know what to do. Mm. Maybe he's looking for people that he knows or something. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Is that what the curse is? Are they crows? Maybe he brings darkness wherever he goes. Maybe. Oh, Mumu's had enough. The music. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's just like 
destroyed everything. The moment when the moon realized what she had done, too late it was for him, for them, the evil curse had won. The anger and the anguish overwhelmed this fragile soul and caused the wicked oh God. that he never could control. What happens to a Momo? Well, it's definitely not a happy ending at all. Oh, so he just like destroys the world. Poor a Momo. Mm. It was tragic. Do Riot have any happy stories? <laughs> oh. You know what's weird? Sorry to bring it back to Jinx again, but <laughs> everything that Jinx is in seems to be the most light-hearted work that Riot has, which is ironic because Arcane is just tragic yeah, again and Jinx is at the center of that. That animation gave me very much Tim Burton vibes. Some people in the comments might agree, maybe if you don't, that's okay. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, it gave me Tim Burton so much when he was like wandering through the enchanted forest alleyway and yeah those different so locations creative. those different locations were quite creative so what does he just bring darkness wherever he goes is that the curse mm. when we ask these questions by the way we're not asking each other we're actually asking you <laughs> yeah what so he's a mummy so he's meant to be dead yep is the curse that he is now awake and can't find his way or is the curse that he just brings darkness wherever he goes? Like, what, yeah, what's, what's the deal? It seems like he brings those black shadows everywhere. They're following him. Because we had the wolf, remember, in the first, like, rainforest scene? Yeah. Yeah, and then we had other dark creatures. Yeah, we had the crows. crows. Yeah. yeah. That climax part of the video where the music... Yeah. Music lifted. Oh, that was... And he was... just, like, had enough. Yeah. Whoa. And you saw the you saw the bandages, like, and he just went up into the sky. Mm -hmm. That was so sick. Yeah. That's what I was, I mentioned this a few times in Arcane. What I like that Riot does really well, and this is probably because they have experience doing music videos. Yeah. Is they utilize the music with the animation really well. During the climax of, of the animation, they partner that really well with their music. So the melody. Yes. And the build up instrumentally. They coincide. They like their hand in hand. The yeah, music that's and right. What you're seeing. It's like you're looking at the music. Yeah. It's that's a good point. Beautiful. Yeah. That that's that was one of my favorite parts about Arcane as well. Why I loved it so much is the way Riot used their music. Yeah. With their animation. So it's one. It's not just okay, there's some background music. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> they were both fantastic yeah. and very different as well both very different yeah that's right. i sort of grouped them together to do one video because we we got a lot of recommendations for these and that they were quite emotional quite sad so i thought i'd just I'd put them together in in one sitting i'm actually just kind of relieved that fiddles didn't make an appearance because i saw the crows and i thought that meant it's all over i kind of thought he would make an appearance in annie too to you, be honest you, you thought fiddlesticks was going to eat a moo moo he's going to no. chase him no Thought he was going to be standing there in the forest in Annie. I'm actually really relieved. <laughs> yeah, we've had a nice break from Fiddlesticks. Oh, mate. Anyway, thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. It'd really help us out. You can follow us on Instagram if you want. It's just at Carly and Ange. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.